Hey guys, this is DC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is recovering the refrigerant out of this R410A air conditioner. And we just found out, we tried to pump the unit down, the compressor is not strong enough, the internal relief that's inside of the uh, hermetic compressor shell, uh, that was opening up and letting the discharge gas get into the low pressure gas side of the compressor, and so it was not able to pump down. I mean, it wasn't even remotely strong enough to pump it down. Uh, so we're actually going to be recovering all the refrigerant out of the line set and the evaporator coil. We're not going to be recovering the refrigerant out of the outdoor unit just because I might use this unit for some tests at the shop just to maybe make a video or two with. Otherwise, I would actually just leave these valves open and I would recover the refrigerant out of everything. So just so you know, that's why we have pressure in the gauges even though that the gauges are attached. So we're just transitioning from one video to the next video. We're going to be using our core removal tools to pull the Schrader valves out in order to have a faster flow for the recovery unit. Make sure that you have this pulled back, otherwise it's going to be in the way when you screw it on. All right, now we're going to make sure that these are snug in the back and we're going to go ahead and pull the Schrader valves out. So we're going to press in on this. Okay, and I believe that Schrader valve is out. Next side. Lost it there. I believe we got that one too. So now we're going to shut these valves off. And I'm going to put my gloves on. Okay. There's our Schrader valve or valve core. If you tried to recover refrigerant out of that, it's only a very uh, small amount of flow that you're going to be getting through that. So we usually just pull them out. There you go. Okay, so we got our low side, our blue line. We're going to hook onto our large vapor line. Make sure your handles are all shut, hoses are tight. We can go ahead and open that one up. All right, we're gonna open that up. Then we can open these two up like that. We already have our yellow service line coming out, going into our filter dryer and then coming back in through this other hose. So this is the inlet. And then here's the outlet of the self-contained recovery unit. And we're coming out of here. And we're coming right into the blue side right here. Because we're actually going to be pulling this uh, out of both sides, the vapor and the liquid. And inside this particular recovery unit, this is a G1, it just has it, what it looks like to be an impeller inside. So all it's doing is taking the refrigerants. And it's not condensing the refrigerants. Uh, so we're actually going to put them right into the blue side right here. The next thing that we need to do is we're going to zero out our scale actually after we pull the recovery tank off. This is an empty recovery tank just so you know, uh, but we're going to zero it first just to weigh it. The tear weight on this tank is 28.2. It says TW 28.2. Okay, we have our scale, we're zeroing it now, and we're going to go ahead and put our recovery tank in there. So, as you can see, our recovery tank is empty, and it's actually vacuumed down to 500 microns. You don't want to uh, put refrigerant in on top of nitrogen if there's a nitrogen pressure test in these when you get them new. 
uh, but you want to make sure that you go ahead and bring these down and vacuum below 500 microns, maybe 200 microns or whatever, and then just lock the vacuum in and it's ready for use. So here we go, we got 28.4. The tear weight said 28.2, so it's just whatever the hose weight is here. All right, we said we had pressure in these already, but we have little pockets of air in the hoses. Basically, what you need to do is you're just going to go ahead and open these up. You're just going to open these up completely, and then we're going to purge the air out of right here. On this recovery unit, it's going to allow the refrigerant to go through it, so we can just purge the air out right here. We're not going to open this handle up. We're going to go ahead and purge the air out. Usually about five, seven seconds or so. Should be able to get all the air, oh, there we go. Get all the air out of the line, and then you have refrigerant. And you can tell by the noise and also by the look of it. Uh, you don't want to be purging refrigerant. You just want to purge the air out, and that's it. Now the next thing that we have to do before we turn the self-contained recovery unit on is we're going to go ahead and open up the refrigerant tank. And since this is empty, it's actually going to start sucking the refrigerant through already. Okay, so here we go. So you can see the weight is increasing. It's at 28 pounds, 13 ounces. It's going to continue to end up pulling refrigerant in. We already see our gauges are going down with our pressure and basically what's happening is the saturated pressure over here is going to equal the saturated pressure in the tank and that's when it'll stop having the refrigerant come into here and then that's when we're going to go ahead and turn on our self-contained recovery unit. So the refrigerant is still coming in and the whole system is basically equalizing in pressure. We're going to go ahead and turn it on now. After everything is off and everything is, is uh, done, basically you want it to be not rising above zero PSIG. You see we're at about 6 inch HD right now. And there's not much refrigerant left. We're at uh, 29 pounds, 13.8 ounces. We're going to let it continue to suck down. So if you had any leaks in your hoses right now, you'd actually be sucking air into the recovery tank, and that would not be good. We're going to get ready to shut this down. When we shut this down, we're going to shut the gauge set first, then we're going to shut the tank off, then we're going to shut the uh, self-contained recovery unit. This one does not have a purge function in it, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. going to watch and see if this rises above zero PSIG. This recovery tank is very, very cool still. All right, I don't see the gauge set moving. The pressure is not going up, so that's great. And we're going to go ahead and disconnect now. It's been about 10 minutes uh, right now and it's still at 20 inch HG. It's not going up, so we are good to go. Okay, we used nitrogen to raise the pressure up back up to zero. And now we're going to go ahead and disconnect and cut this unit out of here. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.